Hey Potter family, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another unboxing video for you guys from the Wizarding Trunk subscription box. It is their next lesson themed box, so I'm super excited for it because I've been loving these. Um, for this month of October, this box is Care of Magical Creatures in Arithmancy. So I'm super excited to see what they have in here. I'm definitely more excited for the Care of Magical Creatures side of things, but I have not opened it yet, so we will get to that soon. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Rachel over at Keepers for Seekers, and you can follow me on Instagram also at Keepers for Seekers. So if you like what you see here today, please hit that subscribe button to support me. Let's just get into it. I will give you guys first peek as usual. See anything good? This nice velvet green drawstring bag. So let's start with this. Tree lice. Tree lice look like grains of brown rice and generally are found in the tree with wood exceptional for lawn making. Cute! It's kind of gross, it's supposed to be lice. <laughs> but care of magical creatures, we know there's some weird ones out there. So this is cute. Um, you can put it like on your potion shelf or anywhere, it's just a simple decor. There is a wax seal of a tree, which is cute, and some nasty little bugs on the label. So that's simple, it's fun. It doesn't say anything else, and I love the little tiny mason jar. Next, I see a kind of big box on the side here, so we'll go for that next. Whoa. This looks like an oil can from like Tin Man. Whoa, you guys! Oh my god! It says flesh eating slug repellent. Oh my gosh, we definitely are familiar with this. Seriously, I love this. This is so cool. It might be nerdy because it just looks like an oil can kind of deal here. But, oh my god, this emerald green is really pretty. The label's super cute. It has, like, little slugs on it. There is nothing inside. It's completely empty. But this pump actually pumps. And you can hear the air. This is so cool. I love that it reminds us of the, the time Ron ate slugs. Too bad he couldn't have used this. A little squirt in his mouth, but <laughs> didn't work out that way. Definitely my favorite item so far. Right below that... Seems to be another bag, but it has some sticks, maybe incense. So there's three sticks here. I'm going to set these down for a second so I can open the bag. Inside this bag is another little bottle. It does look like little oil. Okay, so it says lemon vanilla reed diffuser. Oh, that's cool. Made exclusive for the wizarding trunk by Alchemy for the Skin. It's an essential oil, so yes. Very cool. Look at that. It goes from light to dark, even after you shake it. Must be like an oil and water deal. That's a number three on it. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be part of the uh, arithmancy side of things. Maybe I'm lost on the direction of this a little bit, but it is cool. All right, let's keep it going. Oh my gosh, what is this? You guys, look. It is a Thestral. It is very heavy. It is not a pin. That would have been insane. The back is just completely flat. It is definitely metal. But that is awesome and beautiful. Oh my gosh. See a couple little bags here. The gold one's actually open, so we'll start with that one. It is a little coin. It's a coin. It looks like it has a leprechaun on one side. Let's see if I can come out very good with this. Lighting. Luck of the Irish. I'm not really understanding this part of things. It has numbers on it. It says one all around the edges. Let's open the other little bag as well. Oh, it's a little like gaming dice, but it's heavy and it has numbers all along the sides there, like a little gaming dice on both ends. I like this. This is cute. Couple pictures it looks like here. The first is like a, a drawing, kind of a description of the blast ended skewer, skewer, skewer. I'm like forgetting the name. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can easily just kind of tape this up on your wall as a display. The coloring is actually really pretty in the main one. And then it just has some writing on the side, a uh, hybrid of a manticore, a fire crab, name unknown, very aggressive. Um, so this is definitely like someone's notes on this creature. And the other one is very similar. 
This is definitely Newt, I think. A Fantastic Beast character here. Very pretty, the coloring's gorgeous on here. Um, teapot is best for shrinking and capturing. We've seen that in the Fantastic Beasts movie. And then it has just all these little, again, they're like notes of someone learning about the creature and just wanting to remember everything. Moving on, we have, whoa, a leather bound book or journal. Wow, you guys, this is so soft. It feels like legit leather. I'm sure it's not, but it feels really good. It has the initials RH on it. So Rubius Hagrid, obviously. And the drawstring on the side here has a lovely little key at the end. And the top is a seahorse. That's cool. The pages are gold at the ends. That's very gorgeous. Wow. And it is completely blank on the inside. So this is usable as a journal or whatever you would use it for. A little bookmarker to keep your page. It's a little owl in there. But this is a beautiful book. I mean, this this is not cheap, I don't think. It, it seems really well made to me. So I love this. Ooh, I think our next book cover. Let's see if it is. This looks like a much smaller one than the others, which means it could be covering one of the first or second books in the series since they are smaller. The last two book covers we got were thicker, so they didn't fit on the first two books when I tried them. Oh my gosh, you guys! This is a Magical Creatures book cover! It is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the coloring on this, you guys. An introduction to otherworldly beasts. Magical Creatures A to Z. If you haven't seen my other two videos, um, they were the June and August uh, lesson boxes, go check those out because if you wanna see the other two book covers that were made, they are simply gorgeous, but they don't look anything alike. I love the coloring on this one. I love how they're making each book cover completely unique and different color themed. Um, obviously different lesson themed as well, but this, is amazing. I can't wait to add it to my collection and my book cover. These do go on the first edition American hardback covers. All right, so let's keep going. Ooh, a pin. Okay, see so you guys, this is a pin. It is supposed to be just like night with the moon. Like this is just kind of nighttime sky in nature here with the moon. And then you can actually slide this open and you can see some of the magical creatures in there. There's a werewolf in the back. Hopefully Lupin, Thestral, and a unicorn. So it goes from daytime to nighttime. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so this says Arithmancy. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, it's like a guide to Arithmancy. So this is gorgeous. Front and back are the same, and then it opens up and it explains exactly what Arithmancy is. So I'm not going to read this obviously to you guys, um, but this is the last or the course that I know least about. So I will definitely be reading through this. I know it has to do with numbers, um, but I'm not as familiar with it. So this will definitely be interesting to read about. Next, we have a print. It looks like oh, it's on like very thick paper. You can hear. Oh, it's a Niffler! How cute! That is gorgeous. He has his shiny gold coins and jewels surrounding him. I like the simplicity of it, um, but I also love the detailing of his fur. If you look really close, it looks like those all little lines were individually drawn. I'll definitely be putting this up on my wall. It's very cute. I think that was the last item, you guys. So at the very bottom here, yep, that was it. Squiggly wigglies all over the floor. All right, so we have, um, our cheat sheet, but on the other side of the cheat sheet is actually a nine-sided dice daily arithmancy chart. You may have only one re-roll daily. Use it wisely. Okay, that's kind of fun. So you're supposed to roll it. Whatever number you get, you read like what it means or whatnot. Like if you roll the number five, it means luck, wealth, good fortune, and so on. And it says you can have one re-roll daily. So apparently if you either don't like what you got, you can re-roll. But let's quickly go through this. Um, cheat sheet just to make sure we got everything and then that'll be it. So let's go.
All right, number one, the Otherworldly Creatures book cover, which is a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. We have that here. Fits the third book of the first American hardback edition. Okay, I like this because I don't think the first two lesson boxes told us what books they go on. Um, I assume they were going to be in order, but the other two are way too big for the first two books. So this is good that it fits Prisoner of Azkaban. I will be trying that out soon. That was made by Danny at Wizarding Workshop. Um, two, we have the Tree Lice, which is also an exclusive um, by Pure Blood Apothecary. Uh, we have the Leprechaun Gold. This batch of Leprechaun Gold has been spelled not to disappear, but please do not mistakenly spend it. Four, Flesh Eating Slug Repellent. This was like one of my favorite items, if not my favorite, um, which is an exclusive. The Green Plant Mister should be used on household plants to ensure they're not eaten by any pesky bugs or slugs. Okay, five, the notebook from Otherworldly Creatures. That was Hagrid notebook, I believe. Yes, you can use this notebook to make notes on any and all of the other worldly creatures you may be studying. Very nice. Okay, six, Magical Platypus Wooden Print, which is an exclusive made by JP Mistlecrow. Very nice. Uh, number seven, antique nine-sided arithmancy dice that we saw, very cool, is also an exclusive. Eight, negative energy read diffuser oil. So we saw this, got this, it is an exclusive. It says, let us know what arithmancy social sign you received on your bottle. There are several different variations with some amazing smell of lemon and vanilla. Okay. So this makes more sense. Mine has the number three on it. So on the back, it's going to match up with one of these numbers. And everyone that's getting a box has a random number. So that's pretty cool, actually. So I have the number three. I got creativity, imaginative, and a free thinker. Number nine and ten, otherworldly beast infograms. These two little tiny pictures are what they call infograms. These two infograms will fit great inside your new notebook created by Twillings and Taddings. Very cool. Uh, 11, Arithmancy Study Guide and Information Sheet. We have that here. I cannot wait to read this and learn more about it. Number 12, Skeleton Horse Paperweight. Ah, it's a paperweight. I will be finding a way to stand it up on my shelf because I think it's too cool not to display, but it is a paperweight for their purposes. Um, this is an exclusive. And the last thing is Today's lesson pin. This sliding pin slides to reveal the creatures in the forest. So that's it, you guys. I liked this box a lot. It wasn't my favorite, I don't think, of the lessons box, but I absolutely love the book covers. I'm obsessed with these. I cannot wait to get all seven. And this by far was my favorite item. I don't know why. It's just a little mister thing, but I'm just obsessed with the coloring of it, and I just think it's so unique. It's going to go on my shelf. I have nothing else like it, so I really like this. And the notebook was really cool, although I, I don't think I'll use it. Like I said, I think that was really, really well made um, and a good addition because we just love Hagrid. So these were my two favorite items. This box was awesome. Wizarding Trunk is my favorite subscription box. They do so well with these, and they're very unique. So if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.